What's going on guys? It's Mitch Motor Asset here out with another dirt ride. Out with Nathan and Westy. Nathan you'll remember. Westy was the guy whose boat we went out on on New Year's Eve. Yeah, so we're out at the Otways which is basically Anglesey. Very spectacular crash. Literally, just start recording, start going down a hill, get caught in a rut, and face plant, sort of. Batson's track was closed so we did a little loop round. I have no idea where we are now though. Um, I forgot to turn on relive today so I'll just pop, pop a screenshot of the GPS files today. is a washed out road. As far as this isn't closed, oh, that was a fish town a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna go
Alright, um, as you would have seen in the little subtitle, was having a little bit of uh, microphone issues with the GoPro during this ride. Um, basically, when I stopped to like assess what was going on, I knocked the uh, mic that was plugged into my media mod out of its socket, um, just enough to make the GoPro not think it had a microphone plugged in anymore, so then it went. Alright. I'm just going to use the default GoPro audio, which is why my voice is really muffled in these sections. Um, and as you'll notice, we're just watching as Nathan comes to rescue me and give me some advice about what to do when I get caught in a rut like this. Um, you know, it's been a very common occurrence. In um, but yeah, sorry about the audio. Hopefully, it doesn't happen next time. It's just something that's happened. It actually ends up cutting out audio completely. Anyway, back to the video. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm playing with a little bit of um, some point of view multi camera setups that hopefully um, I can get looking really good um, soon. Um, I'm going to play around with my setup, play around with the timing of the videos. So, apparently, um, once I reset my Hero 3, which is the one that I used for the perspective face back to me. Um, once I set up that correctly, I can set up some clips uh, perfectly timed. Um, I can just choose which one I want to show as we go through. Um, I'm still learning a little bit about the best way once I've picked how to model these through, how to add it to the actual video. Um, because at the moment, what I did was say, you know, made a completely separate clip and just. the times and then exported it, you know, like I was exporting an entire video and then download the video onto the onto the um, the sequence for this one. Um, so I'm learning a little, still learning a little bit about my video editing and stuff like that. So I hope bear with me while I learn a little bit about that. I'm not going to bother putting up a map um, since I put it up in the last video. So if you want to know where this is. Watch the previous video on this um, kind of day, from this day, uh, and the map will be up at the end of that. But just a reminder, it was down in it, um, the old ways. So, and you'll see it was a really good ride. Um, really recommend it for pretty much any level rider. Um, as you can see, like I'm a really beginner rider, and I'm having fun. My mates Nathan and Westy, they're off off ahead. Um, yeah, so if you've got any advice when it comes to video editing, feel free to comment below. Get any feedback around that stuff. Make sure we keep going. Um, the next few videos I'm hoping will be my um, all the rate my rides that I still have planned to do. So I have about th I have three from the Alpine run. And I have three that I have my rides planned at the moment as well. Um, from today, so you get to see all the unused footage from that from today. Um, I say today, but from the Otways ride. Um, for you to enjoy. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so I'll be playing around with this perspective and hopefully getting um, getting a better angle. As you'll notice, it actually just faces down my chest the entire time. And you'll see, as much as I did forget my backpack, I did remember to bring my jacket, so I did have pockets so I could at least carry my phone and things like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately with the audio, I actually 
do remember I had some very insightful things during this section to say, but um, editing it almost a month later, so I kind of can't remember what what I said that was so important. Um, yeah, as I said, the audio completely cut out uh, in this sort of section. I believe it was one of those weird things where the GoPro thought it had something plugged in, but um, the microphone wasn't plugged in enough, so the GoPro was kind of confused going, do I use my own audio or do I use the audio that's supposed to be coming in, but it's not. Um, so I'm going to have to find something to temporarily secure the microphone in properly so I don't have that um, issue. If you've got any suggestions for that, by all means, add the comments. But that takes us to the end, so hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.